Now we're gonna make a cross between a cake-like cobbler and a traditional fruit crumble. It's called a buckle, and it's a perfect way to showcase the juiciest of summer's stone fruits. In this recipe, I'm using juicy, sweet, luscious peaches. And for this recipe, we're using three peaches cut into thin slices, say a quarter of an inch. The late summer fruits for the nectarines and the peaches and a lot of the plums come free stone, which is very nice so that you can easily cut neat slices away from the pits. We're baking this in a 10 inch enameled cast iron skillet. You can use a stainless steel skillet if you don't have a cast iron skillet. And I'm melting a half a cup of butter, one stick of unsalted butter. That's gonna go into the buckle batter. So just finish this peach. Beautiful and really fragrant and sweet peaches. I'll sprinkle two tablespoons of sugar over the fruit. And you can just toss this a little bit. And now to make the batter, it's all done in a bowl. So it'll need one cup of all-purpose flour into your bowl two teaspoons of baking powder. There are many different summer desserts, crisps, buckles, pan dowdies, crumbles, one cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, Betty's, grunts, zonkers, all of those funny names are all similar kinds of crumble desserts with fruit. So we've whisked all the dry ingredients, add one cup of milk, a teaspoon of good vanilla, vanilla extract, and the melted stick of butter. And we're gonna put this right back in here so that is our buttered pan. Just stir this. It's a thin batter. And you can pour this mixture right back into the hot pan and top with your cut peaches. So this goes right in. So no eggs, simple, simple. And put your fruit in an even layer as possible. Uh, right into the batter. This is a delicious dessert. I would scrape out any excess sugar, because this is all the sugar you get, except for a little sanding sugar on top. And sprinkle with this sparkling sanding sugar. Gives a little bit of glisten. Make sure your oven's preheated to 350 degrees. Bake until the top is golden brown and a tester inserted into the center comes out clean. 50 or 55 minutes. So you can see why it's called a buckle. The crust has buckled in several places. It's crispy, glistening because of the addition of that wonderful sanding sugar. I love sanding sugar. I use it on the tops of things like this, but also on the tops of uh, the crusts of a two crust apple pie, peach pie, and take a wedge of this. You can see how it's laden with fruit. And serve this with a dollop of creme fraiche. You can whip this with a little bit of sugar if you like, or just plain, I like it plain. And I like a lot of it. Mm. Looking at this, I think that buckle may become your favorite simple stone fruit dessert. Enjoy.